Most states of Australia don't publish the COVID status of the vaccination victims. Sorry, I got that around the wrong way. Most states of Australia don't publish the vaccination status of COVID victims, except one, New South Wales. So in this video, I've collated one month of data from the 2nd of December 2021 to the 2nd of January 2022. You can find all this data on the New South Wales Health website in their media releases section. It's kind of tucked away. You have to click on the particular day's COVID-19 statistics to get that day's information. If, for example, you wanted to check last week's statistics, you have to click on 2021 on the side menu. Let's do that. Scroll down until we find the COVID data for 31st of December 2021 and click on that. You'll have to scroll down until you find the word sadly. They always introduce the details of the victims by using the word sadly. Sadly, New South Wales Health is today reporting the deaths of six people. A woman in her 80s from Western Sydney died at Nepean Hospital. She was a resident of Fitzgerald Aged Care in Windsor where she acquired her infection. She had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. A man in his 70s, he was not vaccinated. A man in his 70s, he had received two doses. A woman in her 60s, she had received one dose. A man in his 90s, he had received two doses. A man in his 70s, he had received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. New South Wales Health expresses its sincere condolences to their loved ones. So what I did, I went through 30 days of data and collated all that information. Here's what I found. Between the 2nd of December 2021 and the 2nd of January 2022, 41 people died. 21 were men, 20 were women. Uh, one person was in their 40s, one was in their 50s, five in their 60s, 11 people in their 70s, 14 people in their 80s, and nine people were in their 90s. When it comes to vaccination status, three people had three doses, 24 people had two doses, two people had one dose, and 12 people were unvaccinated. In terms of percentages, 29.3% of people who died of COVID were unvaccinated, while 70.7% had at least one dose of vaccine. It should be noted that according to New South Wales Health, 95% of people aged 16 and over have received at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine. I'm not here to comment on the figures, I'm just here to report them, something that media and government officials don't seem to want to do. See, it wasn't that hard, was it? I'm just a guy sitting behind a crappy laptop and I was able to do it. Why can't the state governments of Australia do it? It's not because they can't, it's because they don't want to. And for me, that's a reason to distrust them.